out of the Moscow underground, out of bed and out of the dance scene. All the latest cultural news in our top three picks. They're as magnificent as cathedrals, but in fact they're metro stations in Moscow. And they can now be seen in Café Moscow, an iconic communist-era building in Berlin. The photographic exhibition Metronaut is our number three this week. The Moscow Underground's marble columns, mosaics and chandeliers are ideal for large-format pictures taken from unusual angles. Photographer Bernhard Ludovic shows us both the splendor and the drabness of the Russian capital. Metronaut, an expedition into the Moscow metro, seen from the comfort of Berlin. An addict strikes again. Germany's most provocative author writes about alcohol, sex and love. Schorsgebete by Charlotte Roche provides intimate glimpses into the amorous escapades of a neurotic wife. Three years ago, Roche shocked the public with her debut novel, Wetlands, a book in which bodily fluids played a major role. It was translated into more than 20 languages. Now her subject is the obsession with beauty and the need to be a superwoman in every way. The heroine even visits a brothel with her husband. Many people won't be able to resist, because what's shocking can also be very exciting. Schorskebeter are this week's number two. Scarcely anyone brings the Afro-American experience to the stage as vividly as the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre. The troupe is now on tour in Germany. racial company has been in existence since the 1950s, with pieces by its founder, choreographer and activist Alvin Ailey that reflect suffering and success in the struggle for equality. Their style is a mixture of modern dance and Afro-American traditions. The Alvin Ailey Dance Theatre, exciting and moving, and our top pick of the week.